So I'm just uh, standing on the boat here and I'm leaning up against the mast and just pondering um, a few things about competence. And what I'm really wanting to get across in this uh, video here is um, being super competent, being super expert at getting your boat into a marina and, and why I'm having this uh, just sort of giant thought right now is we just returned back from Sardinia and we were docking into boat into marinas over there um, we were using a 52 foot lagoon we had seven boats in our flotilla and everybody was having to dock into marinas very much uh, like this one where it's very tight other things are going on you got to come into the fuel dock um, and you got to get it right um, you can't muck around uh, banging into a 10 million dollar yacht that's right next door when you're you just didn't know how to do it or you turned the wheel the wrong way um, the wind was pushing you the the way that you haven't uh, experienced before or you just haven't docked in a marina for you know maybe a year or two since you've been to the Mediterranean um, or you've never been to the Mediterranean before and you're backing into a slip and and I'm not picking on the Mediterranean but it's like there's so much docking because you want to go to the marinas um, and the little villages um, and enjoy the culture there. So um, here's here's my here's my you know my, my rant, right? Um, we're, this is our virtual reality program. Um, we're actually in the middle of Sydney Harbour. There's the bridge over there and the Opera House right there, and we've stuck this marina right in the middle so we can have a bit of a play. And um, look, this particular exercise is about doing a Mediterranean mooring uh, using an anchor, and so that happens a lot um, in the Med and other places in the world. So we've got this whole scenario set up. Like, look, we want you to drop the anchor right there, um, and if we look over the side, we can see the depth of the water. So that in this circumstance is about the right um, distance out that you want to drop the anchor. So um, this exercise is uh, take the boat, um, stop the boat in the designated area, uh, drop the anchor, and then back up into this little green you know, smudge area that we've designated that we want you to back up into, and cleat um, these dock lines right, onto uh, the cleats over there. And then uh, we want you to tighten up the anchor and, um, and sit back and relax, and you did it perfectly. Um, what's super cool... Um, let's go down here and have a look, is that we can uh, adjust the wind, right? So out of the west, um, east, south, north, um, zero knots, 10 knots, 20 knots. So as you start to get more experience at doing this, we can start cranking the wind up to 20 knots. Um, and we can have it coming in different directions so that you can be um, having wind that's coming from forward, from, uh, from aft, from left and right, um, you're going to experience uh, prop walk um, uh, when you're doing this. The physics that we have put together on this boat is just absolutely incredible. Um, prop walk, uh, you've got the wheels working. So, so here's part of the rant is why would you not do this? You have got to get it right. The Mater Quest headset costs around about 300 bucks. The app itself um, for Marine Verse is $20. Um, how much is that compared to embarrassing the hell out of yourself in a marina where everybody is watching? I mean, you pull up to a marina in the Mediterranean, there's restaurants, bars, and everything, and a lot going on, and all of a sudden, calamity starts happening on your boat. <laughs> That's something that you don't want to happen. Uh, to you. So, um, and what about a gel coat scratch? Or what if you bang into a $10 million yacht or even a half a million dollar yacht next door? Um, that's going to cost you um, some serious bucks. So, this is a rant. Um, it is become super competent at maneuvering your boat in a marina. Um, everything that we've got built into this module does everything about being competent in a marina. We want you to back into slips, go forward into slip, different wind conditions, um, different types of slips. There's some pylons over there we want you to go into. Um, you're actually um, 
using the bright lines. Um, you can throw them ashore and cleat onto everything. Um, it's pretty cool. We've got um, springing on and springing off lines. Um, we've got super tight slips. We've got a fuel dock. It, 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 if you don't do this virtual reality training and you bang into a dock or just embarrass yourself, um, you're crazy. I mean, you're crazy if you don't do this. This is this is 300 bucks worth of competence, um, and you can spend hours and hours and days and days backing into slips, practicing, getting it right with the different wind conditions. Um, you have got to do uh, this, and and and. You know, I'm really being quite insistent about this because now more than ever, just coming back from Sardinia, where we had a 20 knot sidewind uh, trying to put the boat into the slip, and, and you know, I was lucky I was able to do it. I've done plenty of practice at it. Um, some of the other guys were struggling a little bit, but you see all the charterers, um, and they're all struggling. And even take like in a situation of a, a catamaran where you've got the rudders actually forward of the propeller, and not many people know that that actually happens forward of the propeller so you don't get any propeller wash over your rudders um, practice that in, in an upcoming VR uh, system that we have so get it right and do it right when you're in the marina okay uh, I've been ranting on enough but um, I really hope you take this point to uh, really understand that this is exactly what you should be doing practicing and becoming an expert and, and there's a reason like you go to the Mediterranean somebody's going to fly you over there in an airplane right um, that pilot has done hundreds and thousands of hours in a virtual reality system so that when there's an emergency an engine out they know exactly what to do um, they've done it before in VR. It's just another engine out if it happens in real. Um, this is exactly the same for you. If you want to be an expert and competent and not embarrass yourself, you have to do VR. Um, and that's all there is to it. Thanks very much for listening to my rant. I'm very sorry. I'm very, very passionate about this uh, training. Nautic Ed is all about being competent doing it right and and just making yourself look good um, and being safe for your friends and family and you know hey how cool is it right you've got your friends on board you organize everything you drop the anchor in the right place uh, you back up to the slip you throw the lines on perfectly you throw the um, passerelle up onto the dock you walk on the dock and, and grab a drink I mean how cool does that make you look right um, all for 300 bucks okay thanks for listening bye